On the 11th of November 2016, a radionuclide station designed to detect nuclear tests was inaugurated on the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos was chosen because it sits at a geographical location that is uh, relevant for a better detection in the Pacific. Known as RN24, the station is part of a vast global international monitoring system of over 300 stations to detect nuclear explosions in the air, underwater, and underground. The network is a way to guard against test ban treaty violations. CTBTO Executive Secretary Lucina Zerbo traveled to the Galapagos Islands to attend the inauguration ceremony. He was pleased to find the station operational. It was constructed in a record time of six months. When I came here six months ago to start discussing how we could build the radionuclide station, we thought it would be mission impossible. CTBTO experts teamed up with the Ecuadorian Navy in the Galapagos National Park and its Ecuadorian Oceanographic Institute to make this project a reality. Zerba was welcomed to the ceremony by high-ranking national representatives of the Ministry of Defense, Foreign Affairs, Human Mobility, and Environment. He thanked the Ecuadorian government, companies, and many institutions involved. I applaud each one of the CTBTO's partners in Ecuador who made this fate possible. Vice Almirante Fernando Noboa praised the excellent partnership with the CTBTO and expressed his pride that Ecuador is now part of the Global Monitoring Network. Ecuador, desde el día de hoy, pasa a ser parte de esta fundamental red. Undersecretary for International Organizations, Carolina Iniguez, reaffirmed Ecuador's commitment and obligations to the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty that Ecuador ratified in November 2001. Es importante resaltar, tenemos un mandato constitucional como eh, Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores que nos obliga a trabajar día a día por, la, por el desarme nuclear, por la paz mundial. Station RN24 is already up and running and sending data to the CTBTO's Vienna headquarters. The data is received and monitored through an automated and interactive program to ensure it meets stringent requirements. It's reviewed and analyzed by a radionuclide expert and is available to all member states. Liaison doesn't stop once a station is installed. Regular meetings take place with the counterparts based in monitoring stations and data centers around the world. The experts can share and discuss issues related to their station and data availability in real time. From Vienna, RN24 station looks uh, very good. This, this station is working properly. The data gathered by the International Monitoring System is also used for scientific purposes, including the study of climate change. The seismic systems also help to give early warnings of tsunamis. In the Galapagos, we've made sure that uh, our station are environmental friendly. Uh, meaning that we follow Ecuador's rules and regulation with regard to uh, the protection of the environment. RN24 is a boost for nuclear test monitoring in the Pacific, a vital component of a treaty that helps to protect these pristine islands and beyond from the threat of nuclear explosions. <laughs>